The error in the configuration of the BGP settings locked Facebook staff out of their own systems. Internet protocols were designed to be resilient in the face of nuclear war, so Facebook did a pretty thorough job of managing to break those protocols. This is the kind of problem that is almost impossible to predict, and to guard against a problem you need first to imagine that it can happen. The entire Facebook network was disconnected from the internet, and the tools that everyone inside Facebook Book uses to access the data centers where Facebook systems run couldn't find those systems and so didn't work. So not only was the system down, but they couldn't get into it to start fixing it. The press said that this was rather like locking your keys in the car, which is a pretty good analogy, but it's probably more like locking your keys in the car than leaving the car somewhere in the world's biggest airport car park and forgetting which airport it's at. Imagine for a moment that a meteorite destroyed a building where your business operates from. How long would it take you to get back to normal? This was kind of a software meteorite strike. Because the fix involved making a query to a cluster of databases, that cluster was quickly overwhelmed by hundreds of thousands of queries a second. Actually, this is a fairly common cause of catastrophic failure in software systems, and even in mechanical systems too. This is the result of the creation of an unconstrained feedback loop. The configuration error in the cache is detected. Every single client saw the invalid value and attempted to fix it. And the route to fixing it is a bottleneck, in this case, a cluster of databases serving the original value. So now the cluster of databases is overwhelmed and the problem just gets worse. Every time a client got an error attempting to query one of the databases, it interpreted it as an invalid value and deleted the corresponding cache key. This started the cycle again by forcing it back to the overloaded database cluster. Now, in the middle of the outage, the system is being asked to work even harder, beyond its capacity to cope. The cache entries are meant to take load off the original source of the information. These cache copies mean that you can read the value without touching the original. But now, the automation thinks wrongly or rightly that the value in the cache is wrong and so dumps it. Remember, there are lots of these caches, so now every one of them needs to go back to the source to refresh its copy, with what it assumes will be the correct value, only it isn't. So now there's an explosion of extra demand on the original source. The whole network is overloaded with this explosion of extra work, applying so much load onto the systems that are trying to correct things that they just can't cope. Once in a situation like this, there's only really one solution. You have to break the feedback loop.